did you just record some content using your camera, whether you have a DSLR, mirrorless, or even your iPhone? Does it look slightly out of focus, possibly not sharp enough? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why that is, and hopefully be able to provide you solutions for you to avoid this from happening in the future. Hey, how's it going, guys? C. Santos here, and this channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So if you're interested in learning about gear, technology, or other ways of creating content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So we've all been there. I know I've done the same mistakes that I'm about to mention, and it doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna learn this along the way if you haven't already. So reason number one, if you're using a DSLR or mirrorless camera, like I do on my video shoots, specifically in this video, I'm using a G7, I'm relying on the contrast-based autofocus system while I'm actually not relying on it, which is one of the main reasons why I'm in focus right now, and that is I'm actually using manual focus since I'm not moving much, kind of stay stationary. This prevents the focus from shifting or the camera thinking the background's in focus when it's not in focus, it keeps the focus locked. And that's obviously one solution for you to prevent that from happening. But if you have a Nikon, for example, doesn't have the best autofocus system, it'll constantly punch in and punch out. You'll see it go in and out of focus, which is annoying. It also happens on Sony sometimes, depending if you have the setting set incorrectly. But again, not to get too technical here, but if you do have one of these cameras that has one of these systems that's not as efficient as like Sony's or Canon's autofocus system, just make sure you use manual focus when you can, especially in stationary shots like this. And now reason number two, very common, especially if you don't understand your camera system at all and you're just hitting record and hoping for the best. And that is you're using the wrong focusing mode. Every mirrorless and DSLR camera has different types of focusing modes. There's pinpoint autofocus, there is face detection. I've actually created a separate video on my channel that you can watch right here if you're interested in learning more about all of the different types of systems out there where I took a deep dive for you guys to understand your camera system so you're better well equipped to make sure that your shots are in focus. But if you're using the wrong focus mode, you're gonna have a bad day, your shot's gonna be out of focus, it's gonna capture the focus of the background or the foreground and not you, especially if you're looking to record yourself or other subjects. All right, and reason number three is honestly understanding your camera and knowing what aperture you need to have it set to, the ISO, and obviously the shutter speed. All of these affect how sharp, how clear the video is gonna be at the end of the day. So if you have your shutter speed too low or too high, this can actually affect your video quality. This is why you always wanna follow the rule, especially when it comes to shutter speed, doubling your shutter speed according to your frame rate. And when it comes to the f-stop, this is actually where, depending on what you're trying to achieve with the shot, you might wanna have it at a pretty low f-stop if you're trying to go for that really blurry background and soft looking footage. But if you want sharp footage, you might wanna up the f-stop over to like 2.8. Like in this case, I'm actually at f2.8. I'm trying to make sure I'm nice and focused in and the background is gonna still be blurry, obviously. And obviously your ISO is one of the things that affects how sharp and noisy your footage is. So making sure you're shooting at the right ISO and honestly, just making sure that you fully understand your camera. So now reason number four, picture profile. Every camera system out there, there are specific picture profiles that are well suited with the camera. There are some that are just, you know, run and gun. However, every camera system has a specific settings within a profile to make sure that you achieve the best results. Like in Sony's, you have S-Log. In Canon's, you have Log. and Lumix, you have V-Log. But however, I have a Lumix G7. This one doesn't have V-Log. However, there is a profile that I'm using. It's a custom profile that helps me get the best out of the camera where I'm doing all of the editing and color correction and adding sharpness in post-production. So every camera has a specific color profile that you need to understand that produces the best results for the video that you're trying to create and you're shooting. If you're a G7, G85, G95 owner out there, if you don't have ability for you to use vlog you can always use the custom color profile i've actually talked about this on a separate video but with these settings you're allowing the camera to just record all of the information versus it doing post-processing in the camera so you can do all the editing and adding sharpness and adding color and all these other things in post and last but not least reason number five one of the most important things that you need to understand when it comes to content creation is understanding the platforms that you're going to be posting the content to especially when it comes to youtube facebook instagram TikTok. they all have separate render encoding settings that every platform wants and you have to provide or else you're going to have horrible looking footage when you're actually watching it and playing it back on that platform so for example youtube does a really great job when it comes to 4K video uploads. However, it's never gonna look as clear as if you render it and play it back locally on your machine. Video compression, especially on YouTube, 
makes the footage look soft and not in focus. So just keep that in mind. If you're playing back the footage on YouTube, make sure you follow each specific platforms, directions when it comes to encoding content. And I've actually started to create content around these specific platforms. So if you wanna see the playlist, there's gonna be a link down in the description below for all of the different platforms and their encoding settings where I've actually tested and tuned to make sure that the quality of the video that's being sent and uploaded to these platforms is gonna look the best and highest quality for whatever content you're gonna be putting on there. And again, these are just some of the few key reasons as to why your footage isn't sharp or not in focus. Again, understand your camera system. At the end of the day, if you don't put enough time behind the camera, you're never going to understand it and use it to its fullest potential. Like with anything in life, they say that you should be 10% smarter than what you're working with in order for you to fully understand anything. Keep that in mind when it comes to you creating content. Learn new systems if you can, especially if you have the ability to do so. Get out there, shoot content, learn from your mistakes because I know I have and it's always helping me become a better content creator. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. And if you appreciated this type of content, please leave a like and subscribe down below. I'm trying to get to 10K ASAP. I'm always looking at the comment section. So if you guys have any comments, please leave them down below. And as always, have a great day.